Good day. I hope this day finds you doing well. Today's reflection comes from the from Saturday, the 10th week in ordinary time, from the fifth chapter of Matthew's gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory unto you, Lord. Jesus said again, you have heard that is said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by earth, for it is God's footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Memorial Day weekend this year was anything but calm. I worked late that Friday and got in from work here at the house late. Had to serve the 8 a.m. and the 10 a.m. mass that Sunday and had to leave here by noon to be back in Texas Sunday afternoon. So that only left Saturday to take care of all the yard work at my house and at my mom's, to run errands, and to be out at my daughter's house for a family gathering by noon that Saturday. So that Friday night as we sat down and my wife and I were discussing how we were going to divide and conquer the Saturday chores and errands, when we got through, my grandson was sitting there listening on the couch quite intently. When he looked at me and he said, Papa, can we go to Nanny's house early? And I told him, no, not really. We've got too much to do Saturday. See, he was excited about going to his nanny and his paran's house because his paran was going to teach him to shoot skeet that weekend. So I looked at him and I said, I promise you, we'll be there by noon. He said, you promise? I said, yeah, I promise. Then he looked at me. He held out his right hand and he raised his little finger and he says, Papa, do you pinky promise? I wrapped my finger around his and I told him, little man, I pinky promise. He smiled and he seemed quite content because now he had some skin in the game. Swears, oaths, promises, that's kind of the main thread that runs through, the, through today's gospel, isn't it? See, the Jewish community taught about truth. As a matter of fact, the Jewish community stood on three things, on peace, on justice, and on truth. And they thought an oath would be held or binding more tightly that truth would be upheld if you invoked the name of God in that truth. See, with the Jewish community, there was two types of oaths, those that were binding and those that were not. A binding oath is when you invoke the name of God because they thought then you wouldn't break that oath. A non-binding oath was one where you uh, evaded involving the name of God. That way, if you broke the oath, then God wouldn't look down on you in a negative manner. But see, what Jesus tells the community today was that you cannot leave out God in any oath or promise that you make. See, God is already there. The heavens are his throne and the earth or his footstool. Anything you say and anything you do 
involves God. He's already there. I think too many times in our life, we try to put God in compartments, don't we? We try to have our church life and we try to have our ordinary life. See, we speak one way in church. We speak another way when we're at work and school, don't we? We try to involve God in everything that we do at church, but sometimes we forget that in our ordinary everyday life outside of the walls of that church, God is involved in everything we say and everything that we do. You can't even make an oath on your own head because your head doesn't really belong to you. It belongs to God. It belongs to the one that designed you. Well, if you're wondering about my promise, oh, I kept that promise that day. As a matter of fact, we arrived at my daughter's house just before noon that day and enjoyed some of my son-in-law's famous, beautiful tender ribs, potato salad, and a big old bowl of my daughter's baked beans. We ate well and then we moved to the back property where we were going to shoot skeet that day. It took a little man about two shots and he finally sighted in the shotgun. And by the third shot, he was busting clays on a regular basis. He ran through an entire box of 20 gauge shotgun shells and even took a turn at his Paran's 16 gauge. It was a good day, sore shoulders and all. It was a real good day. I'm glad I kept my promise. I think too many times we try to keep God out of our lives. We try to divide up where God should be and where God shouldn't be. But we should understand that God, he's everywhere. God hears our spoken words, even when we don't mean to include him. God even hears the words in the silence of your heart. God's everywhere. He hears what you think. He hears what you say. Pinky promise. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you. And I hope to see you very soon. God bless.